Yes, what a find. Today I've come to the lovely small town of Rayleigh. We're going to hit all their charity shops and as much as I can buy to sell online for a profit. eBay, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy. Come with me as we go through all the shops, see how much I can buy. Let's see how much I can sell it for. Main reason I'm here though, haircut. Bosh. Looking trim, shaved. Let's hit the charity shops. Right, it's one o'clock on Monday and England have just kicked off against Iran. I completely forgot. Hey ho. First up, Dogs Dress, probably the most expensive charity shop. Even worse than British Heart. We probably won't be long in here. Let's get an idea of pricing. Got some Timberland waterproof boots. They're asking 40. So yeah, not for me. What's this one? Earth Spirit. New of tags. 65 originally, 40 here. Hush puppies. 20 quid. Yeah. Hmm. There's some men's. Jasper Conran. Jasper Conran, 12.50. Samuel Windsor, 30 quid. I it brand new, unused, but 30. Too high. Ah. Oh. I remember this name from my Ipswich trip. Oliver Spencer. It was a good one, made in England. Blue want 50. No. Reese, long sleeve shirt, 15. Again, too much. No, no, no. Oliver Spencer again, 20. Plain blue. Oliver Spencer, 20. More of a pink colour, it's quite nice. Fred Perry, size small, 9.75. Ted Baker blazer, 50 pound. Really big. 6.75, plenty of them, they're not rare at all. Rab piece, R-E-B, Rab, 9.75. Should be getting like 35 to 40 on this, so a bit of a sleeper. I was have to pay up a bit. I've got another 9.75, I'm gonna look this up. It's that brand, Moon Fabric, that I spoke about in my sold video. It sold for 55.99. This is what sold it, Moon Fabric. So it's like a tweed type material, but it's just a flat cap. So nearly a tenner for a flat cap. I have to do a bit of research because I'm not 100% sure if that'd be worth it but it's got the right name on it. And a quick eBay search, one sold for five, one sold for 9.99 free postage, and someone's asking a tenner. So we're putting that one straight back. Here we are picking this up. I'll get that one. So you go, the most expensive shop, still managed to pick something up. What was it 9.75 into hopefully 35? Not bad. Oh, a new shop. Oh, hello. Haven't been in this one before. That was more of a furniture shop. Can't really be bringing back any drawers with me. That might fit me our key bag. <laughs> yeah, just a normal furniture shop in there, so nothing for me. They had the odd camera, but nothing special. Cancer research next. Quite a pricey shop, you never know what you're gonna find. Today's video is currently sponsored by Awesome, the online accounting software. Awesome act as your own personal online accountant. So you'd have to do with all the boring accountancy stuff that I'm not in this business for. Awesome will take care of it for you. Right now they're offering to set up your limited company registration and set you up with your own business bank account, all for only 12 pounds. Being limited is something I'm seriously, seriously considering doing very, very soon. And I'm definitely gonna take this up. Usual accountants offer to do this for you for like 50 odd quid or so. so awesome will handle the entire company registration process and set up a business bank account so you can start trading straight away. They'll take care of all the boring and complicated stuff including all the paperwork and the documentation. To get this exclusive deal, link will be down in my description below. If you're thinking about starting a limited company or changing to a limited company then £12 to set this up is a right bargain. Thanks to Awesome for sponsoring this video. For all the coats and jackets but they're all priced up pretty high. Also in the season for coats and jackets so I'm gonna ask a bit more. Temple Bar Dublin live for rugby. Live for rugby, not heard of it. We've got 650 size small. Not heard of it, but it's quite a nice embroidery. Temple Bar Dublin. 
Got a cool Nike tee, big swish on it, nothing on the back, but it's a modern piece, size medium, six pound, it's not really worth a lot, maybe like 10, 12 pound. I'm brand new, 35 quid, base London, nothing special, Clark's, 30 quid, damn it. Hello, what's this I've seen? Go to Jurassic Park, 50p, I think I've got to get this. One for the boy. We'll get that. 40, 45, 50. There you go. Thanks for that. Sorry about receipt. Sorry. Cheers, folks. And found a few brands. Found All Saints Levi's. Asking too much. Not enough meat on the bone to make profit. But I found this. Lost without Jurassic Park. Bit of me. But it's for Lenny. He's starting to pick up pens and that. Do a bit of drawing. So that's for the lad. Two hours later. Yeah, Len. I got you a little treat. Dinosaur! Do you like the dinosaur? <laughs> Next up is probably my favourite charity shop in Rayleigh. We've got a Sue Rider. There's a bit of everything. There's furniture, electronics, clothing, bric a brac. It tends to be well priced as well, so fingers crossed. We find something good in it. That's a bit of vintage golf. Probably nothing special. What's this? Mizuno Astron. 30 quid for the lot. Titleistum Turf Glider. The bag. Doesn't look anything special. What's this driver? King Cobra. That's decent. 30 quid for everything. It might be worth it. Again, Mizuno Astron. It's like a vintage matching set. What's this down here? Dowsy. Nice combination suitcase. They tend to sell well, especially Samsonite. Don't know what price is on this. Fair. I might come back for that and maybe the gold clubs, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's get inside. I know. Ooh. Have some nights here. Look like Air Force Ones, but not quite Air Force One. Not 20 quid, but they look pretty decent. Size 8. Hold on to them for a minute. Oh, not bad Nikes, just runny ones, seven quid. Size six, nice and clean. Don't know if they'll be worth much. Maybe 12 to 15. So I might leave them for a minute. I'll do a bit of research, but yeah. Definitely worth looking these up. Sounds like a bit different here. Just a glass. It's a liqueur 43. My mum and dad like this. It's like a Spanish liqueur made of 43 ingredients. Two pound, should be getting like 10 to 12 just on that. Not something I usually do, but one I'm here, it's a nice thing. Yeah, might hold on to that actually. A couple of pictures, should sound nice. I'm not too big either. Nothing in electronics today, not that I can see. No, not today. Oh, hello. I've had projector, I've sold these before. 20 quid, big and bulky. Especially with this arm, not today. Big bound, Reese. Leather shoe here, it's a bit worn out. Does that say Reese? Can't quite tell if it says Reese or not. Hopefully. Only five pound. Bit of wear to it. Oh no, that's gone right through. Oh yeah, there you go. Reese of London. Might leave them. Then I found these as well. Sort of funky hook and loop Velcro looking Nikes from 2012. Size 10, my size. I like wearing them. Not the greatest looking Nikes, but 15 quid as well. I can't see them being worth much. But again, I'll Double check. So these are actually called the Nike Rubiax, Rubiax. And they go for about, well, $16.99, $29.99, $16.99. And then a black pair, 20 quid, but some took an offer, so there are no. And interestingly enough, I'll jump it up here, but these Nikes should have zebra stripes on the swoosh and on the back. So these are actually real, but the zebra stripes have worn away. So they've been put in a washing machine. So you can see it was black and it's sort of just grey now or beige. 20 quid, so I could have got 50 to 60, but obviously no zebra stripe, the 20 quid. And someone's trod on the back here, so they're crushed, so that's a no. So, so far, I've just got a glass. I think I'll skip the clubs. Don't see. But we'll pick this up if, if it's cheap. Can't see a price. It's no more than a fiver. I'll buy that with the glass. Do you know how much is on this case? I couldn't see a price or anything. Uh, fiver. Yeah, five's fine. And then just that glass as well, please. 
Got the suitcase in the end, five pounds, which is absolutely fine. Did look it up before I was paying and should be getting like 35 quid for this. So, you know, it's big and bulky, five into 35. Should sell quite quick as well. People like these combination cases. Like if you can find Samsonite, then yeah, you can get even better money. But this is a decent brand, not too big, not too small. Nicely done. I know I look like a proper Dale boy trotter walking around with my suitcase. Crit Rodders, run! The Rossers. Next up we've got... Bloody hell. Next up we've got three shops in a row, quick succession. One, two, three, within a few shops of each other. The first up, Heart Foundation. So again, one of the most expensive charity shops in the UK, in my opinion. So I'm not holding my breath, but it could be a sleeper. Let's go in. Ooh. I'm not seeing much in the shop. What's this one? Pro Star. It's just like a Sunday need team pullover. It's quite cool, but no team or anything linked to it. Oh, but it's 3-0 to England. Is that all? <laughs> Find a unique gift. They'll treasure forever. Treat yourself to the perfect sparkly dress or spruce up your home. I haven't had a pair of kickers for ages. I call them Tots TV shoes or boots. Proper 90s vibe. I don't know how much they are or what size. They look like a size five or six. Got like a patent black. Got a lot of creasing, sort of used for, oh God, 20 quid. Not picking them up there. Like a school shoe. Not for 20 quid. Nope. That shop was a bust. I think the first shop we walked out of without anything at all. Not even a colouring book. Next up, Havens. Prices can be up and down in this one. Again, mainly clothing, no electronics. Pair of feelers for seven quid. They have come right down in price though. So I'm probably gonna get like 12 quid, 12, 15. So yeah, thought you've got to leave them. Maybe a couple of years ago, we'd have got like 22 to 25, but yeah, prices have come right down on them, unfortunately. m s m s next. Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. But you picked one of these up. Literally, I think yesterday, I picked one of these up. I'm hoping it's cheap. I'm hoping it's cheap. £25, new with tags. This should be a hundred plus pound coat here. Yes, what a find. This is brand new tags, pre-owned, £99, 115, 105, 105, 90, 105. Oh. I'm going to pay 25, but it's returning. This is probably going to be, what, 150? Brand new tags at least. Nice. I needed a score like that, especially to make the trip worth it. Awesome. Oh. New with the tags as well. It's <laughs> great, thank you. Cheers, thanks. Nicely done. Well, I've definitely made up for it. Cracking, lovely jubbly rodders. Hey, lovely jubbly. <laughs> it's time to rain again. Let's get inside. We got here. Bullseye 15. Flexums, WWE Flexums. In box, 20 quid though. Yeah. Pradismus swing. Mice. My champ. That's a bit of guitar hero. The guitar sell very well by themselves. That's for the Wii. But uh that one might quid. For a lot drums, two guitars, a game. Nope, not that equal. Oh, oh, yuck. Let's turn that round. There you go, that's better. It's quickly run back to Sue Ryder. I completely forgot. I picked up and put down a pair of Clark's Gore Tex boots, women's boots. I was going to go back for them, completely forgot. So, headed back there now. Hopefully, they're not gone. Eight minutes remaining on my car timer. And I've got to go to a shop quick. It's going to be tight. I'm going to pay an extra. And it's raining. Come on! Thank you. Uh, uh, £10. They've got the Gore-Tex. They've got Clark's. Size 8. Good condition. Yeah, we'll grab those. I get, uh, describe them ones as well, please. Got them. They were still there. Well, they're five pounds, but they're actually ten. But still worth paying. A little bit of wear to the bottoms, but overall on the tops and the toes, all good. Clark's Gore-Tex are so waterproof material. They do say they're women's size eight, but size eight, they're just black boots. So I'd say unisex. Don't know what makes them women's specifically, unless they're a bit thinner 
on the foot. Ten. It uh, should be 30, 25. Oh, made it back. Look at that. Two minutes to go. Skill. Can't actually believe it. What a find. I've never had this brand or even heard of it before like the weekend. Literally picked one up Saturday. I was there to pay 25 quid, but it's brand new with its tags. And that name again is Anology Waterproof by Nick Wax. So I found that one today. Literally a couple of days ago, I think it was on Saturday, I found another one in the charity shop. Again, same brand. This one's a size medium. This one cost eight pounds. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Slightly different model. This one's pre-owned, but that's going to be like 100, 110 pounds. And then the blue one, retailed, I just looked it up, 250 pound retail. So I'll probably be asking around two, 220. So an absolute gem of a find. So overall, Rayleigh done very well today, thanks to that pickup. A couple of years ago, I did do a charity shop championship. Rayleigh was in there. I competed a few different Essex Towns charity shops up against each other, put them in a leaderboard. Here's Rayleigh's one. See how they got on compared to all the others.